department, the health and social care sector, and the health and social care courses available at Wiltshire College and University Centre. I'll run through the entry requirements to our courses and the individual course details and progression within Wiltshire College and University Centre. Um, progression outside Wiltshire College and University Centre and student life at Wiltshire College and University Centre and the safeguarding and tutorials um, team. And first of all, if you just hold on a second and I will just put that onto this, do not disturb. So um, the overarching department covers a multitude of disciplines, including health and social care, early years, sport, public services and criminology, access to higher education, sciences, including forensic science and counselling. And then there are also apprenticeships within healthcare and early years and science. We have one head of department and each subject has a deputy head of department who manages the provision at each site and across the subjects. My name is Claire Bell and I am a lecturer in health and social care in Chippenham and I teach mostly um, level three with a little bit of level two. So the health and social care sector, wide and varied, uh, huge amounts of different rewarding careers, um, the health healthcare treatment, prevention, management of health and medical conditions. And social care is supporting people with their non-clinical needs. Care and support services are offered to individuals. So it's across the whole of, of our population, um, adults, children, elderly and families, everybody, usually throughout their life, you will all come in contact. We will all come in contact with health and social care. Uh, a, there's an important overlap between health and social care and lots of different organisations and professionals working together. The services can be offered in hospitals, healthcare centres, nursing home, foster care. Um, there's a huge range of occupations and settings for those occupations. Examples uh, of the, 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 the professions that you could go into would be nursing, social working, um, counsellor, paramedic, care workers, youth workers, occupational therapists, speech and language therapists, among so many others. There are over 90 career paths just in the NHS alone. That's not even looking at social care. So there's all sorts of, of, of um, disciplines that you could go into with health and social care. Uh, opens lots of doors, uh, doesn't close very many. So the courses, oh, okay, hi Courtney. Um, Right. OK, I don't quite know what to do about that. Um, I am recording it, so hopefully I'll be able to put that somewhere. Um, if you want to ask me questions, then do so, um, Courtney. I, I see you keep dropping out, actually, Courtney. I don't know whether there's something to do with the Wi-Fi. OK. Let me just type a message. Um, Okay, right. Uh, so continuing, I hope the the other you uh, the other people can hear me. Okay. Um, level one diploma in vocational skills. So this is your sort of foundation level, and it specialises in health and social care, and in childcare and in employability skills. So all three of those. The level two extended certificate in health and social care, and then the level three foundation diploma in health and social care and that it has a year one and a year two so the year one course um, will lead you to a, a foundation diploma and the, the level the, the year two in level three leads you to the extended diploma and the the year two is where all the UCAS points sit and that's the 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 your entry to university if you want to go then beyond that, we have an HNC and HND in social and community work. That is level four and level five, and that is taught in Trowbridge. And there is a BA Honours in social work, which is also uh, taught at Trowbridge. OK. Okay. 
So looking at the entry requirements, level one, we're looking at four GCSEs at grade two, that's an old grade E, including English and maths. For a level two, we're looking at four GCSEs at grade three, which would be a D, including English and maths. All students can progress from the level one courses. And then the level three, we're looking for four GCSEs at grade four, which would be C in the old grades, including English and maths. If you haven't quite achieved the maths for level three, as long as you have the English, then maths can be retaken alongside the qualification. And students wishing to progress from level two, you can just progress from level two. The, so if you progress from level two, you must be working at merit level and have passed your English. All students on level two and level three will need to complete a DBS clearance, which will enable you to complete work placement. There is mandatory work placement on both level two and level three courses. Okay. So looking at level one, the BTEC level one introductory diploma in vocational studies. So this is designed around practical skills and tasks and it supports students to demonstrate what skills they have. So it's more practical, um, not so much uh, big assignments to give in. You will develop transferable skills and this enables you to progress uh, to learning at a higher level. This is a new course uh, and it uh, focuses on a range of units, um, including uh, ones that are specific to health and social care, ones that are specific to children's play, learning and development, and also some community based activities and employability skills. This course is very flexible and it can lead to a range of vocational qualifications. So from level one, you can progress on to the level two health and social care or on to the, um, the child care, level two child care, or there are several other courses that this will allow you to progress on to. So examples of the units that we're looking at in this course, um, advising others about healthy life lifestyles. And this includes researching and planning a local health campaign. Communication skills. Communication skills goes through all of our courses. So this is sort of the start of them, looking at communication skills, specifically in health and social care. Providing activities that support children's emotional and social needs. Planning a safe childcare environment. So this is much more to do with childcare. Exploring local visitor attractions. So this brings in a little bit of travel and tourism into this. And then contributing to your local community. And that includes organising and taking part in an activity to benefit local community. So it's quite practically based, this one. And this is the level one. This qualification is graded at pass, merit or distinction. So you will get a, a, a level for each unit that you do and then an overall level for the end of the course. So progressing on, if we look at the level two extended certificate in health and social care. So this extended certificate has been designed for learners considering a career in the health and social care sector. This is a little bit more of a specialised course um, or, or if you're looking where at a career where knowledge of health and social care will be of use. So this course gives the learners opportunity to gain a broad understanding of knowledge and skills in the health and social care sector. And from here, you can progress, if, you, uh, if you're successful with this one, you can progress either to a level three in vocational <laughs> academic health and social care course, into an apprenticeship, progressing to qualifications in other sectors, such as early years, or employment within a range of job roles across the health and social care sector. So what will you learn? So the qualification is built on two, first of all, two exam units. We start off with the exam units and the exams always come in January and in May for our courses. So the qualification is built on two exam units and those exam units are healthy living and human lifespan and development. And then along with that, there will be eight units with assignments to be submitted. And that is including effective communication. It's looking at um, a unit looking at social influences in social care, nutrition, equality and diversity, 
human body systems. So you can see there's a lot of diverse units. Um, they change slightly each year, sometimes depending on, on what, what we decide to teach, but th there are mandatory units that have to be covered. And um, those there are some of them. Okay, the extended certificate includes units which allow you to gain practical skills for future employment. And also it's a really good foundation for level three. So the level three, talking about the level three, the level three is, is done in two separate years. So you have your year one, and if you're successful in year one and you are happy, uh, you've done done well, if you've attended, behavior's good, all of that stuff, then you will be invited to come on to the year two. So it can be looked at as one course, but it is in two separate years. If you come out after the first year, then you will have achieved an ex, um, a, a foundation diploma in health and social care. You have some UCAS points with the year one, but not enough to get you straight into university, in, into a degree course. So the year one, there are two external exams in year one in January with the opportunity to upgrade or retake in May. And then there are four or five additional units in year one which have two assignments for each. We do block placements. Uh, this year is a little bit different because of the COVID situation, but normally we look at doing either two block placements or we go out one day a week, depending on the, the, the group that we have and depending on, um, on the placements that we're, that we're placing you. We do have a work placement coordinator um, who will work with you to find the work placements, so you're not left to find them alone. The DBS is arranged by the college on entry. Okay, so that's the year one, that's year one. So the examples of the units that we cover in year one would be the unit one, human lifespan development. That's a very similar um, exam to, year, to the level two, but in a lot more depth. And we cover eight theorists in that. Um, and uh, there's quite a lot of information to go through. So I think it's quite an interesting uh, unit, that one. So human lifespan development and also working in health and social care. Both of those are exams. We then have unit five, which is meeting individual care and support needs. Unit seven, principles of safe practice in health and social care, which includes safeguarding and looking at the types of abuse and what, what uh, some of the big uh, cases that, that, um, that have come to the fore, uh, such as Winterbourne View um, and Orchid View, that sort of thing. And unit 10, sociological perspectives and unit 11, psychological perspectives. Now, those are examples of units covered in year one. Your entry requirements for this one are four GCSEs, including English at grade four. We ask for English language, um, not English literature. Uh, so you need at least four and it has you have to have English. This is a really academic course. Some of the units you will be giving in assignments that that um, are up to 10,000 words uh, meeting 10 or 11 different criteria. So this is an academic course that when we get to level three. So you need to have your English language. And then you need to have a willingness to take maths alongside the programme to bring your grades to a minimum C grade. Um, or you can come through to, uh, with the level two health and social care qualification, but we ask you to, to, to have a merit in that. Um, and a level one functional skills um, English and level one functional skills maths. So you need do need to have your functional skills in maths and English, and you would need to be um, to be agreeable to taking your GCSEs alongside. And so that's quite a lot um, in the one year. Um, also depends on satisfactory placement report and reference and a satisfactory DBS clearance. So progression from this course would be uh, to the health and social care. A diploma, which is your second year, or into work-based learning or employment. So level three is ex the extended diploma in health and social care. So this would be your second year. So this is a continuation from the foundation diploma. Both years comprise the extended diploma and is equivalent to three A levels. So you can see how academic this course actually is. There are two externally assessed units, that's your exams, so two more exams in the second year, and five internally assessed units, including a placement unit. There are 100 hours of mandatory placement um, for this, this course. 
um, and it is a continuation of the work placement that you that that we start in year one and is usually in a different setting to the first year. Some examples of the units in year two would be your, your two exam units, which would be anatomy and physiology and inquiries into current health research in health and social care. And then alongside that, you would be taking unit eight, which is promoting public health, unit 12, supporting individuals with additional needs and unit 17, caring for individuals with dementia. So those are all units that you would take in year two alongside um, a couple of others. So your entry requirements to get into the year two would be a satisfactory completion of the level three foundation diploma with good conduct. And your progression options for this one, you're looking at higher education um, at an external university or internally with Wiltshire College and University Centre, or you're looking at apprenticeships, including degree apprenticeships in nursing and midwifery, or you can work go into working into the care sector with a level three um, extended diploma. So looking at progression, where have our students progressed? So this course, the Level 3 course, holds UCAS points, enabling students to progress onto university to complete a full degree programme. Uh, some students decide to go straight into employment and some stay with us to progress to our higher education courses. Um, and speaking of, of my own uh, uh, group of students last year, so of 12 year two students in Chippenham College, uh, five accepted places on nursing degrees and have now started, they started in September, um, looking at, at, along the nursing degrees included the paediatric adult and learning, nurse ability, uh, learning disability nursing. And they uh, were accepted at UWE, uh, Oxford, Brooks, Winchester and Solent universities. There were other places that, that were offered um, that they turned down because they preferred um, other courses. And those offering places included Oxford Brooks, Wiltshire College and University Centre, South Wales, Winchester and Bath Spa. And those included social work, paramedic science, psychology and education. So all year two students uh, last year either received a job offer or a university place offer. Um, and most of those came a lot um, uh, much sooner than, than uh, the, the summer. So they were all set up um, early on, <coughs> excuse me. Our courses are well uh, thought of in universities because they, um, they have the work placement uh, element in there that you can evidence. Um, so the universities are liking this course. So uh, students have successfully prog progressed to study the following at university from this course. So nursing, as I said, including paediatric nursing, adult nursing and learn learning disability nursing, midwifery, criminology, law, paramedic sciences, psychology and education and social work. Um, so all of those uh, from, from the last two years, uh, the, these are these are students that, that that I've taught that have gone into these these different areas. So there's quite a, a, a diverse um, uh, um, progression. So progression at Wiltshire College and University Centre, we do have a university course um, which is in in social work. So it's a BA honours and social workers perform a key role in providing the right support at the right time to individuals, families and groups. This degree will provide you with the knowledge, skills and values to enable you to make a real difference to people's lives. So this course is in three years um, and all the modules are compulsory. The, year, the first year of the course is college based and it's taught over a maximum of three days in the college. Year two and three of the course is a mix of college based learning and practice placement. So you'll do a lot of placement. Uh, to get onto this course, you need three A levels at grade C or above, or you can go straight from the level three extended diploma um, with grades MMM, so merits across the board, which is the equivalent of 96 UCAS tariff points. Uh, you also will need sufficient relevant experience of paid or voluntary work with vulnerable, vulnerable people. This experience should be sufficient to enable you to clearly demonstrate your commitment, motivation and understanding of social work knowledge, skills and values. There are also the Higher National Certificate and the Higher National Diploma in Social and Community Work. Um, which is also taken at Trowbridge. And these are higher education courses and they're designed for students who are working in health and social care settings. 
The HNC, which will be a level four, equivalent to the level four, is the equivalent of the first year of the degree. And the HND is equivalent to the second year of the degree. And these qualifications are recognised internationally and completion allows you to progress into senior employment roles or onto further study, such as a nursing or education degree. They also allow you to progress onto the social work degree or the health and social sciences degree, which are also delivered at Wiltshire College and the University Centre in partnership with Oxford Brookes University. So there's lots of routes uh, to progression. So student life at Wiltshire College and University Centre. So we have a student common room, we have cafeterias and higher education study areas. Uh, we have a student life programme, including a tutorial. Uh, we do trips and visits, including overseas trips and um, in, in, in this country as well. Uh, all of this is on hold this year, uh, sadly, because of COVID, but hopefully we will get back to this next year. We have maths and English that is taught within the college, uh, so it will be part of your program if you haven't passed your maths and English GCSE. Dedicated staff team on hand to help, um, experienced lecturing staff, most of us have come through from the care industry, so most of us know what we're talking about. We have a work placement coordinator and meaningful placements um, that we find uh, in with you. So we manage to we, we work with you to find placements and make sure that they're in in a good location for you and make sure you're happy with them. You can make new friends with similar interests and career goals. And we give you career advice throughout your course, even if you change your mind. So we will give you career advice. There is a lot of support for you out there. Um, it's a couple of pictures of, of our students um, writing. This is one of the one of the. Um, one of the activities that, that we do, uh, which is writing postcards to vulnerable people, uh, especially care homes, uh, especially at this time of COVID, um, to, to uh, keep in contact with people when we're not, uh, not able to go and visit and go out to care homes. We have a, a dedicated safeguarding and tutorial team. So you, when you come to us, you'll be allocated a dedicated personal tutor and they will support you throughout your college journey. They'll motivate you, they'll monitor, monitor your progress and your attendance. They'll offer pastoral support and guidance and they can refer to specialists, other specialist support that we have within the college if needed. So you'll attend a group tutorial each week, which is run by your tutor and will it will include group and one-to-one -one sessions. And the group tutorials will cover a wide range of subjects, including career planning, staying safe, and preparation for higher education or the world of work. You will also have a one-to-one, -one, enabling you and your tutor to discuss any concerns you may have and to enable tutors to achieve, en enable tutors to help you achieve your full potential. And we work closely with the tutorial and the safeguarding team to support you. So you will also have an opportunity to join our student union and details of how to do this will be included in your weekly tutorials. The union represent student views and a range of events and activities for students to take part in. There will also, there's also sports activators and they arrange a variety of sessions for you to join in with free of charge. Uh, we have a gym um, on, on campus that's free to, free to join. Um, they can, these, the activities include archery, zumba, badminton, gym sessions, dodgeball and football. And at the moment, um, netball is, is happening. So if there's a sport you'd like, sport you'd like to try, um, then all you need to do is let the student union or sports activator know um, and uh, they will put it on for you. So if you have any other questions, uh, please feel free to ask. Uh, you can um, put any questions on chat uh, and um, I, will, I will answer them or I will, ask, uh, I will direct you to somebody who can answer them. Um, I will be available this morning for any questions, um, any emails. Uh, I hope that's been useful for you. Um, and I will uh, give you a couple of minutes now in case you have any questions. Thank you very much for listening. I hope that's been helpful.